good YouTube, it's your man's Mo back for another video. And today, man, as you can see by the thumbnail and the title and what's on the screen, we are back again with High on Life. Uh, uh last video, boy, was that a weird one? Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Yo, 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 what's up? What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Huh? Why are you asking us that? It, it's just important to me. I love finding out what everyone's favorite flavor of ice cream is. So, what is it? What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? When you're black, you're never really lonely. Because there will always be a white person all up in Bro, your face. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Mint chocolate chip has definitely risen in the ice cream level. But I'm just... I mean, I'm just a regular vanilla guy. A tenant, well, well, that's a lie. It's not really vanilla, but it's made with vanilla, if that makes sense. My favorite ice cream is uh, I go to uh, what it Cold Stone, and they have like an apple pie crisp. Like uh, I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna put it on the screen so you know what I'm saying. Like an apple pie crisp type of thingy. Uh, it's so, it's so damn good. It's so damn good. It got cinnamon. It got graham crackers. It got apple, cr uh, apple, uh, filling and this, that, and the third. Oh my God. It's so good. But when I get it, I don't want, I don't want no apple pieces in it. I just want the cinnamon, the gra the cinnamon graham crackers in it. And that's it, man. Oh, we're actually almost done. We got like two more. Maybe this is to do, but we got like two more bounties that we gotta get down. So let's go ahead and let's. All right. Here's the oh, then now. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh shit! Another what? Gatlian. Another Gatlian. Search oh, Blim City for a lead. G3 officer, a scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. And you are the first uh, thanks. Hey there, bounty. Detection mode act. Okay. Here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Why, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately. And no matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. So that was, it was point, pointless. The locals. Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, yeah. Gene. Yeah. Talk to Blim residents, conduct a full investigation. Maybe that has to do with the fact there's a bunch of people right over here. Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, Misudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, gee, you make him nervous with this interrogation. Am I what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. What? What is there? If you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Okay. Look, they didn't know anything. That was a real D rank interrogation. Sorry. Everybody, that's Globo Bogo on the drums. Holy shit, he's got a crowd. We did this. Guys, look at him. He's rocking out. 
Yeah, he's really something. You know, th this is all thanks to you, you know, and the time you took to get him that drum. God bless you. Okay. Next person to interrogate. Yo, Bounty Hunter, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. No, I need to interrogate people. Why is it always this weird people with these forehead things? You got, you got any leads? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off. Oh. Quick, the, the drug guy. Fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? I don't believe her. I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? How you doing? Like with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! Ooh, bummer. They were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors. So let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it. I promise. He just said, I love ads. What the hell is this? Hello? or whatever i need it instantaneous and i know we have the tech for that why are you still delivering pizza by foot just zap up to me there's like 10 different ways you can do it by now portal door warp face anything i don't care just get it to me right now wait never mind i'm not hungry bye now you're not hungry now that i walked away why is it always these these niggas with the fucking weird ass head do you mind if we have a moment of your time oh uh sure uh, what's this about, can I ask? What were you doing last night? Do you know, do you know about the G3? Uh, uh, yeah, everyone knows about the G3. <laughs> it's just, we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? It's nighttime. I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it. Blordo? Hey, so it, was a, it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Pink. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use, okay, woohoo, that was an A-rank interrogation, good for you. Blordo. Blordo and mention Michael Taint. But who the fuck is Blordo, though? Hey, hey, come over here, what's up? I gotta tell you something, what do you gotta tell me? The fuck is, what is with this crowd? <laughs> Obvious has a break. Hey, do your best and have fun. You think I'd forget? Oh, look at this. Shit Suddenly, shit everybody wants no, to get into the I dirty did. old slums oh, just because High on Life is doing another big midnight lunch. The store's new, what? too. That's gentrification for you. I know it sounds like I'm being critical, but I'm actually pro gentrification. I love it. No shit. No talk. They're all sheeple, you know. A bunch of mindless fanboys and drug addicts. Okay, so he's definitely not bored out. Look, another one walking away when they hand the truth. Ah! Hi, hi, hi. How are you doing? Hi. Are you, are you talking to me? Yeah, come closer. Come over. Okay, so I talked to this guy. I talked to that guy. Uh, maybe they're upstairs. Because it seems like the only people out here. These weird ass niggas with these weird ass heads, yeah. Oh gosh, the G3. Th they're those evil drug dealers, aren't they? I don't like to think about people like them. They're making everyone's lives worse. 
This is going to sound weird, but no. I've really, truly never done anything bad. Don't believe me. I've never even lied or, or gotten jealous. I'm just, I'm just good. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Nigga believes. You're just good. Are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, I just like to take a nice morning stroll every day. It gets the blood pumping. And I get to have lovely conversations with strangers like you. Oh, sorry. I do know a Dr. Tidbits and, and a Dr. Gribbits, but uh, no Dr. Giblets. Mm hmm. All these niggas are suspicious. The alien come guy. So to this guy already. Yeah, I guess so. so. Let's go talk to somebody else. There's this dude over here. Okay, well, I got a, got a wife now. Let's go wiping. Hey, Michael. Yeah. Whatever you're doing. Well, let me talk to him. Yo, bounty hunter, wanna do some perfectly legal business? Hey, what's up, Florida? You know anything about? Oh. Uh, He's blurred out, okay. Dr. Giblets. Whoa, whoa, where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What, why? Well, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, buster. Ah, oh, that piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launch is tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking here, I'm dead. Thanks, Florido. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Wow, great sleuthing, detective. That was an S rank interrogation. Prank call show. An S rank. Okay. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging around. Shit, thank you. I wish they added like 50 new ports. Yes, okay, boom. So now we're heading to the slums. I can't believe I'm telling you to be careful. But guess what? I kind of care about you now, so sue me. Have you? Well, uh, okay. Hey, so we're looking I'll for this new high on life store. Oh, yeah, hey, hey, yeah. The slums are a little more uh, chill now that we to took out Nine Torg. Nobody wants to talk hey, to the broken. We heard guy. you were okay. asking around for giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose where where it don't. Wait. Oh shit! It's you. The bounty hunter is back. Oh my god! It's the bounty hunter. Someone shooting from behind me. Oh my god. You think you're done? Fucking coming. Hey. I was about to say, like, I feel like someone's shooting behind me. But I I was like, okay, what the hell? Just to turn around and see a nigga shooting behind me. Where the hell are they coming from? Okay. Shotgun for real. 
for the shotgun. Time flows good to go. Yeah. Okay. Um. Handle torque gang. Yeah, which way am I supposed to be going now? Oh, uh, this way. Okay. Close to home. I don't know what the hell he's talking about right now, bro. You know, look, the slums have always been a mess, but I, I don't like what they're doing. Over oh shit, they got an Applebee's. Feels weird. What did we get? Money, boy. You know we got some money, boy. Give me a shot when I'm by. Oh, sure. Gentrification, a classic. Oh, now it's hip. Oh, now it's hip to live down here in the sludge. Huh?
Give me the fucking mouth. Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. Oh, I just hope they don't make me buy a new adapter. Oh, thank God they opened this new high on life store. Welcome to high on life store number 7923. Your local hyperbar. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm pseudo, by the way. You know me. What are you talking about? It's the same mystery from earlier. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. We fucking know. We know. We know this. We know this. Can't talk to him. No, that's not to him. Welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell hyperbongs and hyperbong accessories. Hyperbongs? Hyperbong six is even capable. Hyperbong six. That oh my god. That hot new species you're mm -hmm. talking about. High on life hyperbongs are the only way to get that thing. Okay, okay. Is this illegal? No, 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 not not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and That's literally what they call it. Will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard-earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? High on life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our high on life care program? No. I, 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 Tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation. I don't want your membership. Like at all. I, I don't want it. I don't want your membership, buddy. Okay. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? Uh. Do you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What's a hyperbong? Does the store have any. Does the Torg approve this store? Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A hyperbong <sighs> is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. Okay. High on life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers. Torg family? You want that. So sorry, that is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have uh -huh. you been buying a drop proof case for your hyperbong? Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. Recall whether or not I've heard that name before. Uh, I bet you can't. I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. Mm, can I smoke you with the Hyperbong 6? You make that commission, huh? Mm. Right, but I gotta give you another D rank. Okay, great. This little oh okay, let's talk to the guy with the black shirt. Everybody else got blue shirts. He must be the manager. Let's talk to the guy in the black shirt. Let's talk to this guy. Can you move fat fuck? Yeah, hold on. Oh 
Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. I, I ah. Okay. Mm hmm Figure, figure, figure. Do you have, do you like Hyperbong? Huh? Yeah. Nah, I think they're probably bad for society overall. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but Hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die and that seems a little mm. Right, but hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. Good guy. It's critical. It's weird. I don't know. I'm just here. Good guy to talk to. He'll be a great guy to talk to. Hey, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyperbongs. Probably. A He's the guy. City. He's the guy. Man, this again. Look, man. This I again. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I I'm kind of a again. Fan. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Doctor Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point he? to the crowd. But you are saying you know him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around though. I don't really know where he is. Mm. What? I told you. Yeah. I told you where he is. Uh huh. You're being really aggressive. Sure you don't. Uh huh. Super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Mm. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, hit a dead end. So let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. No. Oh, uh, 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 hello, uh, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Derek. Uh, I'm going to be a personal uh, High on Life uh, pro professional today. Um, th th that makes sense, right? Th does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. Okay. Uh, do you like working here? Uh, oh. yeah. Okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 midnight lunch, and we literally just opened. So uh, I've only been here for like half an hour. And honestly, mm. it, it kind of sucks so far because like I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Oh, okay. Yeah, it sounds like typical work. I, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry. I, I, I have no clue. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? Oh, wow. You told us not to talk about him. Who, who? Who told you not to talk about him? Mm, okay. Return home and regroup with you. For a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like that poke in that beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. Look, guys, we've had to my beak pass for us today, and we're over it. Can you just fuck off? You got a fresh mouth on you. Yeah, can you fuck off, bitch? If something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word. Mm. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. Who the hell are those guys? And why did they just vanish like that? Return home, find a way out of high life. Shit, looks like oh shit. Death. Turn them into a fruit roll up. Uh, yeah. My friend David Lutz got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Mm -hmm. Um. Can I have his shoes? Because I feel like that's where it's leading to. We could use that dead guy's mag boots to climb out of here. Totally take those mag boots. This probably isn't gonna get us into space heaven, but those are good mag boots, and we need them. Hey, sick move! You're making good use of those mag boots. Using those things is way better than David Lewis says it is. Look at you! Okay. Why the hell we're in this acid? Because I'm trying to fucking survive, bitch. And it's not working out too well. Trying to fix.
figure out these stupid ass mag boots that you made me pick up. These stupid ass mag boots. Regroup, return home, and regroup with Gene, okay? We just run right out of here. Went to the High Life store, got some mad boot, mag boots. I think, honestly, that's the only reason they sent me over there. Yeah, downloading your style. Yeah, I don't want no spam. Don't need no spam. You know, it makes me so happy every time you walk by me. I just have to tell you. Thanks. Boy, I don't give a fuck about you, boy. Let me just get to my house. It's a beautiful house. What the fuck? There. You guys again? How are you? They're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't ruffle your jimmies not. Because newsflash, buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You have mm -hmm. to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. Mm. We represent magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim, the Torg family. Cl what Clug what? Anyway, they got mixed up with a bad crowd, the G3 cartel, or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job, says you're already helping him, says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblets. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his two little hands dirty. You dig? 
this kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblet. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do Bro, with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's 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 go talk to Clug. So? Before we go to before we go to, before we go talk to Clug, I need a I need a break. It is twelve twenty a.m. in the morning. I need to, to take a quick nap. Let me get a quick nap in. Um, I I'll be I'll be right I'll be right right back right back. Okay, I'm back. It's been days. Shut up. Don't worry about it. Go see Clug or what? Sorry about that. Clug asked if he could send them over. I didn't know they'd be so weird. Yeah. So, how are you like in detective mode? Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this you're going to ask for more things. Really close, and well, <laughs> keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really gonna help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we—that's what we want to do, you know. But uh, it's just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what. Might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa. Even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just kick the door down, burst our way in there, find him, grab him by the neck. Hey, hey, hey. I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, we will do our best. So basically, you came, you called me over here to find Dr. Giblets. I wish I could shoot y'all in the face so bad. You, you told me to can't come in here, find out the giblets, kill him, so that you can win the election. Essentially. Clug came <coughs> through. He pointed us right to Doctor Giblets. Right. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill giblets. Use portal tab on the bounty five thousand to explore. Upper Valley. Yes, I was gonna walk in the town. Come on, let me give you a lift. Okay, let's go. Jesus. Pick that up. And I died, of course. Worksheet. Well, this pretty quick. Woo. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Boom. Let me get this. Let me get this. Let me get that. Thank you. 
Precious Herald. I'm down for whatever. Mind control. Point the precious. She talk a lot. What the heck? Go. Honestly, gotta hand it to Clug. He showed us where Giblets is. That's great. I did not mean to do that. Welcome to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia, High God of the Way. Hello, friend. My old life was flawed. Now I live the way of the highway.
Okay, so still gotta find. How do I get? Wait. Oh nope. Oh, you wanna fuck with me? That's very stupid of you because I'm completely deranged. chamber with an extra room chamber creature can keep more kids alive at once each womb chamber means one more little blue kid fighting for you at the front okay nigga got an extra womb get across for though Somebody said they're dying. Oh my oh, god. god. Thank god so much here. <laughs> oh my god, you don't got <laughs> you don't got no fucking legs. Whoa, are you god damn. A G3 base walked right through here. Right, 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 right was. And uh well, well it chopped me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A G three base, huh? Definitely god the children. Damn. Oh god. Oh god, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Don't give up, bud. We're not going anywhere. We'll be right here. No, no. It, it's my time to go. Oh, thank you for for staying with me as I die. Hey. Oh, no, no. Just, just don't leave. Okay. Now I feel it. Here I go. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. The circle of life. Oh, you hate to see it. He took a man long to die. I don't know why he took that long. Hey, 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 where, where are you guys going? You, you promised me you'd stay with me until I. Hey. Nigga, you still alive? You sound pretty alive right now. <laughs> no, no. He had it coming to him several times, more than we could count. Don't feel bad. It just finally came to him. It's okay. No. It was the right thing to do. What am I about to say, nigga? What? I gotta, I'm gonna follow. Yeah, it seems like. Bro, she hasn't even started yet. All right, so this is Dr. Jibbis' base. Then where is he at? 
What the hell happened in here? <laughs> She's talking about the damn checklist. Fine, if we have to. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But it's great for us detectives because someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what? That makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. Boom, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there. That's what they're used for. That's what drones are for. They're for combat. That's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper. And Somebody beat us to the punch. <laughs> Sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's got to be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. There's got to be an off switch for this guy somewhere. Or up. These must be old hyperbone prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. Oh, yeah, we can tell, man. We can tell. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms, but we already knew that. No, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. Oh, right here. Oh, my goodness. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, it's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door. This room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go go find more clues, baby. Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So okay, he was right. Not crazy, normal guy. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Dibbles was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Maybe because he sucked ass. A Gatlin's in there. Oh no, they look like shit. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. Pretty powerful. Did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows? Let's find out. Uh, okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Doctor Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Doctor Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. So you wasted our fucking time, pseudo. Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much. I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. Idiot. Mom. I love that. What? <coughs> Help me. Nothing's here. Why? Because I can't.
back up. Hold on, y'all. Okay. No. I guess Dr. Giblets went and killed himself for us. Anticlimactic. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. No. Let me at him. Ain't no way. Damn, for real? Dr. Giblets status report. No life cells detected. Entering full security lockdown. Shit. Fuck me. successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science congratulations you killed me but i knew this day would come and i was prepared for this moment <coughs> now see if you can survive my retribution for beyond the That's detective life for you. So many ambushes. Messages. No, he didn't. He didn't know you were coming.
Yeah, it shouldn't hold as difficult. Itching to launch some dips down on.
and I fucking die, bro. T-shirt. Let's get out of here while the game's good. We can get back out through the trap door. As I continue to study these humans, I find them to be more complex than I ever could have expected. Hey, there's a galleon! God, that's not good. Maybe he barely seems alive. He's just that. hanging there like wet bread. Yeah. Maybe Jean can help. I see how foolish I was. Mm. Not for nothing, the dead ends. Humans, however. Humans. I just wanted to say, you know, to, today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up. So see you later. Bye. Good riddance. <laughs> found Dr. Giblet's all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. Let it go. Come on over. Let's bow wow. Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblet's. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh, shit. That's great. I, 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 I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's not really functional. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's dead, but... Oh, God damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not going to promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix him. Okay, th thanks, Gene. But you know, if he can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be... Uh, what was that? Uh, nothing. I... I, I, I I was being shitty. You didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. <laughs> Sorry to change the subject, but uh, turn in your bounty real quick. 
I've got some good news and some bad news. Mm. Come on. Get your shit settled before we... Okay. Come on over. All right. What do you got for us, Gene? All right. Which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? All right. Here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. Hey, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. Uh, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, it's pretty embarrassing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh... I'm going to see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, do you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me, uh, our favorite people, our favorite, uh, you and I, our best pals. Oh, sure, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Change the channel, Gene, to porn. Have a good time, you two. Oh, wow. Hold down the porn. He's going to change the channel to porn. Applebee's and we're, let's find your sister. Look at us. Just you and me again. You know, just like old times, like the dream team, you know. Uh, So, Applebee's, it's in the slums, which, you you know, you, you probably knew that. So, hmm? your suit can point us in the right direction. So, you take the lead, bounty hunter. You, you, you know, we'll talk with, you know, we'll, we'll, we're going to, we're, we're going to chat. It's going to be good. It's going to, it's all good. Don't worry about this. Don't get shooken up when about this. I don't. I, there's no reason to be, uh, you know, d don't feel weird or anything. I'm not trying, you know what I mean? Hey, do your best and have fun. You think uh, I forgot you sided with this bitch shit instead of me? Hey, no. listen, I'm sorry about being weird back there. It's just, well, oh, there's something I need to tell you. Whew, this is, this is hard. Just give me a second. Oh, you got this, Kenny. Come on. What are you doing? You're making it awkward. All right, dude, you're still talking to yourself now. They can hear you. It's not so hard. Just tell them everything. Eight hours. Okay, so that um, that dying Gatlian that we saved, let's do it. Let's say we can fix him up and, you know, back alive. The thing is... Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I, I'm just trying to figure out how to say this properly or, or you know, like communicate um, how we normally do, right? You know, the Gatlian we saved, let's do it. Uh, he knows some things about me that, that, that the others don't know. And it's, it's, it's nothing too crazy, you know? It's, 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 okay, no, it's it's bad. It's really bad. Sorry, I don't mean to be cryptic. I'm just, oh, this is tough. You know, this is really hard. I, I just don't want you to hate me. I'm worried about your sister. You, you think Tweak is working today? Welcome to Applebee's. Table for two, right this way. Oh, uh, actually, we're wondering if someone named Tweeg is working today. He didn't show up for his shift, sorry. Do you still want a table? Um, you know what? You know what? Maybe this is a good spot to talk. Uh, yes. We, 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 will, we will take a table. You're being a little weird, Kenny. Enjoy your meal. What do you have to say, bud? Thank you. Okay, listen, I I'm sorry for making us sit here at Applebee's. I know we're really focused on Lizzie, and that's kind of the important thing, but would you yeah. mind if I kind of got something off my chest here with you? Sure. Whew, 
Okay, thanks. You know, it's just, you know, it, it's gonna weigh me down if I don't say something. Okay, so you remember what happened on my home planet, Gatlas? It got taken over by the G3, like yours. Mm -hmm. People got enslaved. Y you remember that, right? Mm -hmm. you remember that, right? Mm -hmm. Of course you do. Well, um, what if it was kind of, you know, just a little tiny bit entirely my fault? Mm -hmm. I, I can see you're at a loss for words. I, I, I know how it sounds. I'm not the only reason the G3 invaded Gatlas. I'm just the only reason they even knew about it in the first place. Hey there, mm. Rubies. I'm gonna be your waiter for the day. Can I get you started with one of our signature cocktails? Uh, not, not now, please. We're, we're kind of busy here. Okay, sure thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in for you. Uh, thank you. Okay, bounty hunter, so l l let me explain. Gatlas was isolated on the far edge of an asteroid belt. We were completely untouched by the greater interstellar civilization, j just like your planet. But, you know, I, I wanted out. Like, I wanted to see the galaxy. I wanted to see what everything out there had to offer. That's when Rel Del Mar crashed his ship into our planet. He was this crazy smuggler. He, he'd been all over, and he'd seen it all. And, 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 and after I helped him fix his ship, he wanted me to be a part of his crew, you know? And he, he took me with him. And I'm back. Here we go. This is for you. All right, now what were you thinking for an appetizer? Uh, so, I'm sorry. We're Dad. in the middle of something. Please. Dad. Mm. Oh, it's coming right up. Oh, I don't know why I picked Applebee's to tell you this, but wh where were we? Okay, oh, right. Um, Obviously, a guy like Rel, you know, he had to deal with all kinds of shady customers. So you only have the pet. Okay, so there's, there's four. And there's four you know, he'd never general, seen an alien like me. You know, a talking gun with, with endless firepower. Airport. And, well, looking um, back, you know, I see how stupid I was. You know, I, I really do. But at the time, I couldn't tell. You know, I was being taken advantage of. I was going nowhere. Everyone thought I was a fuck up, you know. I, I just wanted to prove to everyone that I could do something, you know. So you enslaved your own planet. Thank you. I, ho I hope you like those. Now you better be ready to order this that one by three questions. Six only get ten wrong. So I failed this one by three questions. You betcha. I'm gonna get that one. order right to the cook. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So I led the G3 right to Gatlas. Dear Coon. On behalf of Dr. Umar Ifatunde Oguntade and the International Movement for the Independence and Protection of African People, you have hereby been excommunicated from the African race and we have rebirthed you into the European power. See where I'm going with this? We fought them off at first, you know, but they came back with some super virus that damn near zombified everyone. You know, a few of us were immune. We formed a rebellion. It was led by Let's Other do it. Tests, he was my best uh, friend, my mentor. He was one of the strongest Gatlians who ever lived, and I, I got him killed in his dying moments. I told him everything, like I'm telling you now, about how I left Gatlas to pal around with a criminal, how I led Garmantuous and the G3 right to our planet, how I got everyone killed, except Let's do it survived. Somehow, the G3 must have kept him alive to try to utilize his power. God, if we can really bring him back, do you see my problem, right? Look, I I'm going to have to tell the other guns what I did, you know, or else he'll tell them. All right, I'm back. Hope those tummies are ready for some yummies. Bon appetit. Dude, take a fucking hint. Can't you see we're in the middle of a thing here? Emotional thing. Uh, you know, this is important baggage shit we're dealing with here. Take a hint and get out of here for a second. Uh-oh, someone's feeling grumpy. Oh, wonderful. Now, w what the fuck is happening outside? Lizzie? Don't follow us. Twig and I are in love, and we're going to travel the galaxy in his space RV. Uh, actually, this is moving kind of fast. Nothing Help me, please. that sentence, we're in okay, love. we gotta get to them. Oh, shit, yeah. We I can't dine and dash. I love this place. Don't want to get blacklisted. Oh, fuck. I'm here live in downtown Blue City, where, as you can see, we've been invaded by violent and agitated G3 cartel forces. No one can say for sure why they're here. We're here to kill you, bounty hunter. <laughs> what is that? Ah, okay. Well, there you have it. It looks like this is only a problem no. if you're that bounty. They're trying to kill. I'm Peter Puckerton, Blue City News.
Thanks. Stay safe out there. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Shut up, Nico. Shut up. That's right. Let's go. We're gonna hurry. Oh yeah, I've been here the whole time. But, but don't worry, I'll keep your secret safe. I'm, I'm not a snitch. What about Lizzie? What about Lizzie? What about your sister? What's the plan? Yeah. The world's ready, but she's gonna go with the G three won't follow. I'll handle that. Can you pull off a Hennison maneuver mid warp to juke them? Come on, nigga, come on. You just let us get shut up. That was close. I made it 230, but I don't want to die yet. Are we? D d did we make it? Yeah. We're safe. Nobody on our tail, but uh, where are we? Am I missing something? I'm not picking up any signs of life out there. Then we're in the right spot. Kenny, where did you just take us? It was the only safe place I could think of. Careful. It's toxic out there. They set up an atmos bubble so you can breathe, so don't wander too far. Gatlia. What does it matter anymore? Welcome to Gatlas, yeah. My home planet. Jesus. I didn't realize it was this bad. Fuck, there's nothing left. This was our home? Pretty soon Earth is gonna look like this too. We have got to stop the G3. Bitch. Sorry, nobody answered me. I asked if this was our home. Anyone? Wow. How is it out there? Yeah, we, we don't want to talk about it. That bad, huh? Well, uh, don't get all depressed about it. 
We still got more guys out there to kill. Let's powwow real quick. Look, I hate to be pushy, but are you ready for your next bounty? You know what, kid? Maybe you should get some rest. Let's save the bounty hunting for tomorrow. Head on upstairs. I'll take care of things down here. I hate to say it, but Gene's right. Let's get some shut eye. We'll make this right starting tomorrow. So, uh, what kind of stuff did you do in here? Like, anything gross? Y you have to tell me. Like, seriously, come on. We're best friends now. That's ridiculous. We're gonna end it right there, because that's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of shit. That's a lot of shit, but okay. Hey, man, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure y'all go ahead and destroy that like button. Make sure y'all go ahead and demolish that subscribe button. Make sure y'all go ahead and click that notification bell to be a part of the Bit Back gang. Make sure you go ahead and click that share button. Share it to your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your cousins, your grandpa, and your grandma. Because, you know, we out here trying to find us a nice, sexy, big, booty, thick, juicy sugar mama who's going to be out here paying all of our bills. Yeah. That's a lot of shit to swallow. But amen. I hope I see y'all in the next video. Peace.